welcome to our vegetable production series with Sakata. Today we're talking carrots. Yeah, these things, if you didn't know what we were talking about. And um, a little bit specifically around the sowing of not just carrots, but um, all root crops, uh, radishes, um, Swiss chard, which is not a root crop per se, but it actually works in the same manner. And um, then I missed one. Beetroot. Beetroot, yeah. That was the other one. So carrots, beetroot, radishes and Swiss chard. Alex, how are you doing? Very well, and you? Okay. No, good, good. Okay, right. So today we're talking sowing of root crops specifically. What are the first things that I should uh, look at or uh, take into account when I'm sowing uh, root crops? I think we, we first need to start with the bed preparation. You know, you need a very fine seed bed because it's a fine seed, especially if you look at radish and carrots. Um, if you go to beets and Swiss chard, it's a little bit bigger seed a corky type seed, so um, you can get away with a little bit rougher seed bed. But with carrots, it's very important to have a very, very fine seed bed. Your, your level, your a bed should be leveled, and there should be some form of bed formed to, before planting. First of all, why is it important to, to do it on a bed? The important thing is then we manage the, the growth of the carrot. We want a very long carrot, and we want a prepare the soil that it's very deeply prepared so that the carrot can grow very deep into the soils. And the, um, with the bed you've got a loose soil that uh, that's basically gives the carrot uh, ease of growth if I yeah. can put it, if that is even a term, yes. ease of growth through, through the soil. Yeah. So that you, at the end of the day more or less get this. Yeah. Am I correct? Yeah. Otherwise if you have compaction, your carrot's going to be very short and thick and you're not going to end up with a high yielding um, crop. Okay, so let's look at the sowing uh, um, specifically. We've got Yaku here. He is our uh, sowing assistant uh, today. Just, uh, um, okay, sow a few things there and just explain to me what he's doing and why he's doing that. Okay. Okay, you'll see we, we made some, some um, trenches or little furrows that we are sowing the seeds in. The important thing is to try and get a spacing of about two centimeters. Yep. Um, if, if you have enough seed and it's not a, a big issue, then you can sow it very thickly and after um, germination, let's say about four weeks after germination, you can just thin out so that you have that two centimeter spacing to get a, a very um, even crop um, and size of your crop. Okay, so these, and, and I mean, these seeds are really, really small. Yeah. Um, how do, is there um, mechanized mechanisms in which you can, uh, like, implements that you can use to actually sow carrots as well? Do you get yeah. like a carrot planter? Yeah, if, if you go to the commercial um, side of it, then we plant with um, air drills. Um, yes. And there's specific planters that you can, can use to, to plant the, the carrot seeds um, that's specifically designed to have the four or the five um, trays uh, um, furrows that they make and, and transplant. Okay, so when we look at the seeds here now, okay, specifically the depth, how do I determine the depth at which the, um, they should be sown or planted? Okay, especially when you look at carrots, the important thing is um, that we don't want to plant it deeper than the first lid of your, your finger. So one centimeter deep, um, not too, too deep, uh, when you go to a beetroot that's a bigger seed, you can go a little bit deeper than that, but uh, the optimum would be just a centimeter underneath the, the top layer of the soils. Okay, and how do I close this now? Okay, so this will now be closed um, just by, you know, just closing it like that. Yeah. And then, very, very important, because we're working with soils, um, yep. you get a, a, a very dry layer as soon as you start spraying, especially with overhead irrigation. Okay. Um, it's very important that we put a, a little bit of organic material, like compost, yep. um, on top of this this uh, a layer where we planted the, the seeds, and that's just to make sure that our soil, topsoil doesn't dry out. So um, basically what happens if, if you've got overhead irrigation, yeah. the, the drops will basically fall on here, specifically with these 
chuck chuck sprayers yes. that you've got and then that basically compacts the soil and yeah. it uh, basically forms a layer and then yeah. your carrot struggles to get yeah. to get out so what's going to happen is your top layer dries out your seed will start growing hit the top layer it's too dry can't get through turns back grows down and, and it dies and you don't have a good germination so at the end of the day it's important before you water put that layer of and and i'm guessing you can just put it like that yeah just a um, thin thin layer on top um, and that will prevent this, the, that top layer to dry out um, and then just just keep your soils moist not not too wet just moist until you get all your seedlings coming through so last thing i want to know is in terms of um, as you say just keep the soils moist but my first water that i then give after um, sowing um, how much water should that be or um, yeah uh, that it that it doesn't uh, um, what do they call it drown the carrots if I can yeah, call it so that for the first first few weeks until germination I would say just your you just want to keep your top layer moist yes you don't want to um, wet your whole whole bed it's just to get the germination um, the seeds to germinate and to get through the soils as soon as it's through the soils then you can start um, uh, checking your different soil le uh, uh, layers and uh, you manage the irrigation looking at that specific how long from planting until they start to emerge it's usually between especially now where we have higher soil temperatures it could be anything from 7 to 10 days in winter it can go up between 14 to about almost 21 days so depending on your temperatures, yeah, soil temperatures uh, um, and so is forth. the big uh, determining factor and then another thing, um, so some people uh, uh, plant it open field, sometimes they, they, they like to have covering, which one would be best at the end of the day, or with carrots, doesn't really matter. Um, well, it doesn't really matter that big, but um, it's, if you plant carrots, it doesn't matter if it's in your garden or it's in the open field commercial, um, it should have full sunlight. Uh, yeah. That's very important um, because you've got your factory that's growing uh, uh, on the, at the top, your leaves, and that needs to get enough sunlight um, for the root to, to grow. So it doesn't like shade? No, it doesn't like shade. I think that's an important part. I might have uh, made that mistake in the past. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, thank you very much. Okay, so sowing of carrots and all other root crops, um, specifically Swiss chard, same thing, beetroot, same thing, and radishes. Um, it's part of our Sakata vegetable production series. Uh, we've got a lot of other videos. If you've got any questions, um, comment here at the bottom. Uh, there's a link on the top as well. You can get in contact with Sakata and then they will help you out. Till next time. Cheers.